Aloha and welcome to the Gaming Headquarters. I'm Mike Seavey and I will be discussing the Clips Reference R112SW subwoofer for my room in which I watch movies and play my games. I will be also showing you some games I will play with the subwoofer connected. I will have Contra for the NES, Contra 3 The Alien Wars for Super Nintendo, and Contra Hardcore for the Sega Genesis. Hopefully this will make for an immersive experience. I will also play Street Fighter, the movie, Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, uh, between two. I'm going to have to choose which one I want to do. And I will also measure and give some specs to this subwoofer and give you my opinion on whatever these would work for you if you have a surround sound system for your game room. Oh, another thing too. I just wanted to show you I have the cables. These are the Y connectors that I'll be using to connect my uh, subwoofers to. They're actually here. And this thing here is my, uh, let's see. It's a VGA to HDMI converter. And it also has S video and which I need because I'm going to be connecting my 3DO, my Panasonic 3DO back here into my uh, movie game room. So uh, I have it in the other living room right now, but I'm wanting to move it here and I finally got this and I'll try to see and make a video about this and how to do it. And until then, let's go into the arcade room. Hello friends, I will be discussing this beautiful machine on my upcoming video next week and how I acquired it for my little arcade area. Okay, let's dive into the show. Alright, let's take a look at this bad boy. My system is a Denon AVR-X1100W. Surround sound receiver 7.2 system. So the 7 stands for the 7 speakers that I have. The middle speaker is an RP250C. My left and right floor speakers are RP250F, which are clips still. Uh, the middle Bose speaker, left and right, and the rear Bose speakers, which that one I know, that's a model 100. The point two is how many subwoofers you can connect to this DIN receiver, which I now have a second subwoofer. Uh, my old Klipsch SW-110, it's a 10 inch subwoofer, and it's a 200 watt one. Now, having two subwoofers are going to sound nice. So let's break down the specs on the subwoofer. Well, the new one. So its measurements are 17 and a half inch, that's the height, by 18 and 1 8 inch, that's the length, times 14 and a half inches, and that's the width. This is a 12 inch sub, and it's 600 watts. I want to show you what I used to have in the old gaming headquarters back in the day, 2014. So yeah, I didn't own a home back then when I got out of the Navy, but instead lived for a brief while in an apartment and got the single wide trailer for my wife and me to live in. Later, my son loved our little cozy home until I graduated and finally landed a good job doing IT work for my community college that I went to school at. When I was going to community college, I still had my two large Bose speakers and the small 100 speakers that I had bought when I was in the Navy. I also had the Bose center channel speaker. The Bose wasn't a good compared to my Klipsch now. Dialogue is very clear on the Klipsch speaker as well. I can't say for other speakers out there since I've never had them. Just know if you're happy with, with what you got, then keep it. I know adding a subwoofer can enhance the experience even more. This picture was me setting up my new gaming headquarters in which my wife 
wanted me to have my own space to do whatever I please. Just as long as she got the other living room, which is more open, but I want something closed for my movie slash game room, aka my gaming headquarters. I need to move my movie posters up more since the Samsung TV shown here was one of the first gen 4K sets, the JU7100, in which it is a 55 inch 4K 3D TV with a refresh rate of a 120 hertz. And now I've got my 75 inch Samsung Q80T QLED, that's a 4K TV with 120 hertz refresh rate and has a 2.1 HDMI connection for the newer gen systems like the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. The 2.1 source supports 4K at 120 hertz. Okay, let's talk about the subwoofers again. Adding two, well, I will let you know at the end of my review on these. So here's the front of the subwoofer. It's got this really beautiful copper cone on it. So you can secure the grill with the four holes that are on your sub right here. So let's turn this around um, and I'm going to show you the back. So you want to set the switch to auto and then the phase switch to zero as well. So I'm going to set my Hertz to 80 and then for my gain I'm just going to half it and put it right in the middle. So I wanted to show you this. This is the mesh grill that it comes with. And like I said before, all you have to do is secure it with the four holes and it should go right in. So I'm going to attach my Y adapter to my LF line and then we're going to plug it here. So it's already color coded so this one's pretty basic what to do. And of course, you're going to want to plug it in. So after this installation, we're going to try Contra, Contra 3, and Contra Hardcore. And also the Blu-ray and the 4K movie. Yeah, I like the sub there. So here's Contra for the NES. and then showing the subwoofer for the last video part. And also, I'm not going to use the Konami code since I'm just going to be testing the subwoofer sound on this, so we're going to just play it normal. So let me give you my initial thoughts on when I was playing Contra on the NES. The bass, I would say, was average. It would have been nice if it was louder, but it's still not bad. Just remember though that you can always increase the bass by adjusting the back of your subwoofer or on the AV receiver. I'm just, go I'm just going over the initial review on the sound when playing it on all three different game systems, plus the Blu-ray and 4K film. As you can see, it's moving quite along, but I feel it didn't have as much impact in the room. Maybe it has something to do with playing it on my AVS Nintendo system, which it's still okay. 
Contra on the NES subwoofer sound is going to get a 3 out of 5. Let me tell you that the next game is going to be a lot louder than this and that it was a joy to hear. All I've got to say is just wow. The sound really rumbles with Contra 3. Now, I couldn't believe uh, how much bass was pr being produced when I was playing this game. So, when I cut back to the sub and show you, it should be uh, shaking uh, quite rapidly. And uh, it does use a lot of bass, this game. The sound is so unbelievable here. I'm gonna have to give Contra 3 The Alien Wars for the Super Nintendo 5 out of 5 for the subwoofer sound. So one thing I can tell you right away when booting up this game that it does have quite a bit of bass, but not as much as the Super Nintendo one. So I'm going to let you hear some gameplay here and also put it back on the subwoofer first so you can see on how it shakes.
So it's shaking quite a bit here, but I can tell you from listening to it in my movie slash game room that uh, Super Nintendo had more punch. So I'm going to give this uh, for the sound on the game, the subwoofer sound of course, a 4 out of 5. Choices, choices. Which one should I pick? Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, or Street Fighter? So, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I do like both movies. Of course, I like the original Mortal Kombat more than Annihilation. And Street Fighter, I originally didn't like as a teen. But now that, I'm, now that I am an adult, I actually appreciate it more because of Raul Julia's character in it and after kind of watching some of the backstory that he really wanted to play M. Bison, I really got into the show. And then it's just cheesy, so, you know, I like cheesy films. So, I mean, which one should I pick? I think I'm going to go with uh, this one. Yeah, Street Fighter, the animated one. Or actually the anime. I could tell immediately when I booted up this movie that I could hear the bass from both subwoofers. It is just remarkable how this really pops. So I'm going to fast forward the part to where Ryu's facing off against Saget and let you hear the sound, especially when they're fighting. It just sounds really, really nice, especially when the hits uh, contact the other person. You can really feel it. Listening to the sounds on the subwoofer when watching Street Fighter is just so good to listen to. Especially when they're fighting each other, you can really feel the bass. So I'm gonna give, uh, when you're watching Street Fighter, the animated movie, a uh, 5 out of 5. This has got to be the most immersive sounds coming out, especially the new subject. Thanks to the Dolby Atmos track for providing such an impressive sound during the scene in which the two subwoofers were laying down the bass. I would have to say that this was the most bass I've heard compared to the three games played with the three different game systems. I thought Street Fighter was loud, but this gets first place. I love the bass sound that comes from Khan firing his big weapon at the little Klingon ships and the troops he's dispatching all by himself. I had my wife come in the room also to listen to the new subwoofer when Star Trek Into Darkness was being played. She was really impressed with the bass and said that it sounded like she was in the movie theater, to which I would have to agree. Having two subwoofers really does help, especially having a 600 watt. The Klipsch reference R-112SW subwoofer is just plain awesome to have, which I thought having the one was fine. Two is something that helps with a game room and also a movie room. I can't go back after being immersed by two subwoofers. Listening to the Atmos track on this 4K Blu-ray was just a delight to the ears. The bass shook the room. Like I said, when Khan's firing that big gun and hitting the ship, you could feel it. It just really hit you. Plus the fact that I, I watched the scene where the Enterprise is fleeing the vengeance and that 
rumbled a lot too in the room. So I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. And in closing, you know, if you guys don't have a subwoofer uh, for your surround sound system, I would highly recommend getting at least a one. But if you can, go with two. You won't regret it. So thank you for watching my friends and hope to see you next time on my channel. Aloha and take care.